Hi guys, so it's a few days later now, everyone's been cracking on with loads of stuff and it's been a bit frustrating for me because I've been at home with the boys most of the time when I really want to get doing stuff myself but there's been quite a few changes since I last updated you a few days ago so I'm going to show you what's been going on. So as you can see a lot of the kitchen's in now and they've just started to fit the hob, the worktops and also our beautiful sink. I'm so excited about this sink. So these are our new worktops as well. I have to be honest, I don't mean to sound ungrateful because I really, really like them. I really wanted white ones, but because this isn't gonna be our forever kitchen, we didn't wanna spend thousands on worktops. So if I wanted, if we wanted like a white worktop, this was basically our only choice. So I'm really, really pleased with how all of the units are looking. They're gonna be this really lovely, dove grey colour, I can't wait to seal the doors on and the handles and then down here, I can't remember if this was in the last time I showed you but it's our larder so I really hope I'm not repeating myself too much but yeah I'm so excited about that sink, we've got our hob and then obviously there's a lot to do in terms of painting and tiling, um, let me show you the tiles actually, so I think we're going to be using these herringbone ones which I'm so excited about, um, they're really gorgeous. So all the tiles arrived just now and we decided to go for this one, it's a bit sunny, this one in the hallway and all the way through into the porch. I really hope I've made the right decision there, it is gorgeous, I just, I wonder what it will look like everywhere. Um, but the walls are going to be obviously painted and it's going to look really different in here and I'm really struggling to decide on a light. So. Yeah, I'm excited about that though. So all the tiles are here, the bathroom tiles. And then, again, I, I think this looks quite different from the last time you saw because it's now painted, it's got its pre-coat and nothing yet done on the stairs, but a lot actually has been done because they've all been sanded. So they look the same, but they're very smooth now. Um, so yeah, it looks much brighter up here. All of the rooms have been pre-coated, I think they were the last time I spoke to you. So my nan and granddad, bless them, have been working really hard in Archie's room. They've been doing all of the skirting, they've painted the radiator, um, and they've also painted all the inside of his wardrobe and the outside. So I know it's so hard to tell on the camera, it probably looks the same, but it looks so different in real life because it's so fresh and white and bright. But also playing with testers. So Archie's room is gonna have like a, a feature wall with mountains on, and they're gonna be like a tealy greeny blue, but I don't think this is gonna be the one. Then in the bathroom, the start of the panels have gone up. So obviously this is gonna run all the way around. We just need another one for this wall. And then they're gonna actually have like paneling put on them. And then we've again been looking at testers and we're going to go grey on the panelling and white, off-white on the walls. And I think this is the one we're going to go for. I think it's called Polished. Yeah, it's Polished Pebble by Dulux, their bathroom one, Easy Care. Um, yeah, this one probably looks the best on the camera, but it's really dark in real life. Um, so yeah, the bathroom is had quite a lot done to it, actually. And then again, Elliot's room is just white. And we've been testing out these colours. So in here, I'm going to do a contrast of half minty blue, green, and then white at the top. Um, and I think this is the one I'm going to go for, which is Dulux Mint Macaroon. The other two are a bit, that one's really wishy-washy, and that one's more like bright blue. Um, so that's going to run around the lower half of the room, just to give it a pop of colour. And I've been toying with painting his in the inside of his door yellow because I've seen it on Pinterest. It's on my Pinterest board. I'll link it below for you for my, all my inspiration. Um, and it's in a similar colour themed room with the mint and the yellows. So I think that could look really cool. It's just whether I'm brave enough to do it. The other thing that arrived today was our upstairs landing light. I won't get it all out, but you can pretty much see what it looks like. It hangs down and then you put these three big filament bulbs on it. So I think that's gonna look really, really cool. I'm so excited about everything that's happening. We're finally at the like painting, tiling, carpets, more not quite carpets, but you know, we're getting to the fun stage now. 
I probably say that every in every clip. Um, but the thing I'm finding the hardest at the minute is getting the balance right between my love of traditional stuff, but not wanting to make it look too old fashioned, and my love of more like retro and modern stuff, but also not wanting to make it too modern. And I'm so bad at being quite eclectic. And you can get that really right or you can get it really wrong. So when you don't have a very clear vision, like if I wanted it all very, very traditional or Victorian or something, then it would be easy. But for example, we have chandeliers in this room, which were kindly left for us. And I really like them. And we're probably gonna leave them in here for a bit. But then the upstairs landing, the light's quite retro, modern. It's very, you know, almost industrial. So I mix my styles a lot. I'm just hoping that works. <laughs> so we learn as we go along and hopefully it will all work out. And I look like a ghost right now because I keep walking past the big windows. Also, doesn't it look like I've just got short hair <laughs> because of all this baby hair at the back? Literally, I have a mullet which I can't get up in a ponytail. That's just all grown since I had Elliot. Hi guys, once again, please excuse the state of me. I'm obviously covered in paint right now. I've been here for the last two evenings painting the bathroom and I've just realized I haven't been vlogging it. So quickly pulled out my camera. So I'm gonna show you what I've been up to this evening and yesterday. I can't take much credit. All I've been doing is the painting, but the panels are now all on. They look so lovely. They might look a bit randomly placed, but it will make more sense when the bathroom suites in and then all of the floors down. I can't remember if I've shown you and what I haven't, um, but that's all down and I'll show you that properly very soon. The bathroom shower tiles are going in and it's all gonna have these tiles in the alcoves as well. So the paint that we went for in the end was Dulux Polished Pebble, which is a really nice light gray. And then the woodwork is, um, well, just the windowsill in here and the skirting boards when they go down is just pure white. And then all of the top of the walls um, in here and a lot of the other rooms is Farrow and Ball all white. And then the ceiling is just pure white, so there will be a slight contrast between the two. I've still got to do another coat on the grey panelling and another coat of the white. But the exciting news is the bathroom is being fitted tomorrow. Morning guys, today is the 14th and I'm not sure that we've showed you the kitchen yet or what we've done to the bathroom. Everywhere else has just been painted, like we've had so much painting to do and there's still so much painting to do. I don't quite know how we're gonna get it done, but I'm just in the kitchen at the moment now. The handles aren't on, but most of the doors are on, as you can see, and the hob and the sink are in as well. Our hob is in. And we've also got a hood, um, and an oven going in, but they haven't arrived yet. In that space there, we're having a freestanding tumble dryer, and under there, we're having an integrated dishwasher and then washing machine. And then down this end, I think I've showed you guys this before, but not with the doors on. Obviously, that top box door has still got to go on, but I can't wait, because I think it's gonna look so good. I think I'm deteriorating more and more as these videos go on. Look at the state of me. Hello guys, welcome back to renovation vlog. Got what it was called then. Renovation vlog, <laughs> renovation vlog three. I just wanted to let you know that I've had a bit of a crisis and I've changed the paint color on the paneling. Even funnier thing is that if you can see the difference between this and this, then you're probably just as crazy as me. So, I said at the end of last vlog that I've painted the panelling Dulux uh, Polished Pebble but when I'm looking at it, it looks lilac and I've said it from the minute I walked in the morning after I'd painted it all it didn't look too bad in the evening light and when I walked in the next morning I was like, that looks lilac As you can see, this is the Polished Pebble then these are our Laura Ashley tiles which are definitely true grey and then a sneak peek that's the colour of our vanity unit. They're three very different colours when you're looking at them in, in real life. Might not show as much on the camera. And then this, this right here 
is an unpainted skirting board, so that looks grey. So that kind of actually matches better at the minute. But anyway, I'm slowly going mad. This is going to be pure white. And then, you can kind of see it, it looks like there's dirty marks on the wall, but that's because I'm doing it in Faro and Ball Ammonite. And it's going to be a subtle change, but I'm hoping that the warmer tones in the grey are going to look better than this. And I think I've made the right decision. It will work better with the colour of the floor. And then the colour of this unit is a very dark grey and it really contrasts nicely with it. I'll never get you in. That's it, that's, that's it, that's the angle. Now you need to step forward. Step forward, boom, there we go. So it's 10 to 10 and tonight we've started on Archie's room. It's had its first coat. He's gonna be having some color in here but most of it's this white color which is again, Farrow and Ball all white. Ricky's been doing the kitchen. I've been finishing off all the paneling and I think I'm happy with it now. Oh, um, we're really tired, so we're going to head home, aren't we? Look at us. Yes. We're going to look back on these and be like, oh my god. Yeah. Why did we put that on the internet? <laughs> Hi guys. So I've just popped around to the house to have a little check-in on what's going on. We've got less than two weeks an hour, I think, until moving day, which is getting a little bit scary because we've still got so much to do. And it's getting harder to show you things because I want to do proper room reveals, but I also want to keep doing renovation vlogs. So now I'm at a little bit of a difficult stage but I'm still going to try and show you as much as I can. So today is the first time that any downstairs porch or hallway tiles have been put down and um, I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of those because I'm very excited about them. So here's a little sneak peek of the porch. Still needs to be painted and stuff but this is what the floor is going to look like. It's absolutely beautiful. This is Archie's bedroom so far. I know it kind of looks really boring because I've, as I've probably said, it's just white at the minute. Although, if you look at the skirting, it's actually not. It's an off-white furrow and balls, all white, which I've already mentioned, has actually got some color in it. So yeah, kind of boring. Like all of the paint that we've done so far is just white. So there's not that much I'm gonna show you. I don't know if I've shown you the lights. We've now got spotlights in here and spotlights in Archie's bedroom. This is our hallway light. And oh my God, I love it so much. Um, a lot of the stuff in the house has got quite a traditional feel to it. But I, as I've said before, I, I wanna mix a little bit of a, you know, a modern, even industrial like edge in with it. So this is what you can see when you walk in the front door. You can see it kind of right at the top of the stairs and I absolutely love it. And then we've got these filament bulbs from Amazon and they look like that. There we go, now you can see what they look like inside. So yeah, I just thought they looked amazing. And they weren't really even expensive. I think they were 8 99 for all three. So yeah, it's nice to just have a little feature light. <laughs> What have you done? What is mummy going to say when we get home? Um, no, oh, poo -poo. I don't think she'll say you are poo poo. She'll probably say there's more paint on your face than there is the ceiling and the walls. So it is the end of what day is it? Tuesday. Well, carpets are being fitted tomorrow. I've got a feeling I'm going to be up all night tonight finishing off this house so they can be fitted. But I'm okay with that because I am so looking forward to the carpet's being fitted tomorrow. But, oh goodness me, that is very bright. Um, but this room has been painted. In fact, all of the rooms have been done now, apart from Elliot's, which I'm doing tonight. It's just taken me a while because obviously I have to let one coat dry before I can put a second on and every room in the house has needed a second coat. I think what I'm gonna do now is show you guys each room. Stay young, pretty face But I'm trying to get to know you much better
guys so i'm filming this part of the video in sort of real time this is the day the video is going live so we've actually moved into our new house but i'm not going to lie i watched all of those clips back as i've been editing them and i thought that's quite a boring renovation vlog and i really feel like i want to give you something more in this video so what i'm going to do is reveal the bathroom to you it's not 100 percent finished it's not got all its accessories and stuff but i wanted to show you that after this video goes up, I can start to update you a bit more on what's happening right now. Um, as I said, we've moved in. Um, we're still lo doing loads of work on the house and I'm still filming everything. But I just want to give you some updates on what's been going on and then show you an update on what the house looks like now. So I'm going to film that tomorrow and that's going to be coming up very soon for you guys. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you sort of where we got up to with the renovation vlogs and also just add in for you that are still watching that are still here the bathroom reveal so i really hope you enjoy it let me know in the comments below what you think thank you so much for watching this vlog everyone i'll say goodbye to you now and i promise it will get more exciting from here on in so thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in another video very soon bye guys this is what it looks like and I just cannot describe how much I'm in love with it. I never ever thought I would have a bathroom like this. So I am gonna do a more in-depth video um, showing you or telling you where everything's from. But we did have the opportunity to work with soap.com on this bathroom. Um, I just wanna be completely transparent and honest with you guys. But as I said, I'll talk to you more about that in an upcoming video. Um, but yeah, without their help, we wouldn't have been able to achieve this beautiful space. Um, so yeah, I'll just quickly show you. So we have our handrail, our handrail, I'm getting too excited now. Um, our, <laughs> what's it called? Heated towel rail, that's it. Um, in this beautiful like, Victorian style. Um, and we have beautiful towels and um, this floor rug from Christy. We've got our toothbrush chargers up here. Then all of the bathroom like um, suite and everything is from obviously from soak.com. So these lights, I'll tell you where everything's from soon. I just this was meant to be quick, but it's not gonna be, is it? So I love these lights. They're filament bulbs again. They do have that quite orange look, but it does warm the bathroom up, so they're really nice. Um cabinet. And then the sink area. This is how the panelling turned out in the end. And I'm really pleased we went over the polished pebble in Ammonite by Farrow and Ball. Um, I just think it works really well. Then we have these marble, this marble splash back that matches our shower tiles, which I'll show you in a sec. Uh, the bath of my absolute dreams that I will have wanted my whole life. A clawfoot bath. I just adore it. The floor needs a good clean. We're still living in a bit of a building site and there's quite a lot of dust. Um, anyway, so that's that. And you've got the toilet, the toilet roll holder. I just love that as well. So our plan is to have shutters here, but they generally take two to three months to arrive. So that's not gonna happen quite yet, but there's gonna be uh, shutters built in there eventually. And then another favorite point of this bathroom has to be this amazing shower. Um, my dad's done literally everything bar the plumbing because he's not a plumber and the electrics. Um, but he's just done everything. <laughs> and including all these tiles, I love the ones we went for in the end. They're from Walls and Floors. These little alcoves are the best thing that we could have put in here. I've just taken all our products out so it didn't look really messy. Apart from our little shower squeegee. Um, but they're brilliant. And because they're around this corner, kind of for just hidden in there so you don't really notice them so yeah that's what it looks like oh and how can I not give you a proper view of the tiles there's been a lot of talk about these tiles we did basically we asked you guys which ones you would choose and hundreds of hundreds of you chose these ones and which was brilliant because they were my favorites as well so <laughs> thank you guys thank you for having an input into that um, they're the Laura Ashley ones so yeah i'm just so happy that we're finally in and using it and it's better than i could have ever imagined when we first drew out a plan like a to scale plan of where everything was going to be 
we thought it was all going to be like squished up against each other but it's not it feels a really big bathroom it's the biggest bathroom we've ever had so yeah it's amazing um i'm gonna go <laughs> because <laughs> to sort myself out guys it's been a crazy few weeks i need to sit down and fill you all in but that's not for this video i think i've made this video long enough so i'm gonna say thank you for watching if you stuck to the end i hope it was worth it um and yeah i've said goodbye already so i'm just gonna be quick bye everyone mm -hmm.